IDCA's mission is to advance the data center community through education, certification, and standardization. IDCA is a, is a consortium of industry veterans. They, they live, breathe data centers. IDCA have some of the best minds, but not only the best minds, years of experience. They set the framework, they set rules, they set up our expectations so that people kind of approach things being on the same playing field. The mission of IDCA is to educate. It really is about sharing the knowledge of what a data center should or could be. People need education because the industry is always changing. Technology changes basically every three years and in leaps and bounds, not just a little bit. IDCA is helping the entire industry going forward through education, through standardization, and providing resources that are seriously lacking in the industry. Nationally, we have over 10,000 people a day retiring, and that's the baby boomer portion of the population. Education in any industry, specifically in the data center and mission critical world, the need for it is at an all-time high in order to help backfill that retiring knowledge base. There's not enough professional staff who understands how, how data centers operate, and how they function, how the systems operate, how power is, is achieved into the data center, how it's distributed, all of that is the requirement to educate staff and have ensure the knowledge is, resonates with them is extremely important. Being realistic, I've taken various classes, I've been to Gardner, I've been to Uptime, I've been to various things. As a matter of fact, I'm a credit tier specialist. The one thing I can say when I came to this class and you shed a light on a lot of things. You made, you caused a paradigm shift for me how to look at technology. We see over and over that as our systems are becoming better designed, human error is becoming one of the leading causes of downtime. One of the best ways to mitigate and reduce that risk is through training such as what we offer here through the IDCA. You know, being a lead system architect, you know, sometimes you're too close to things. You made me do a uh, you make me back up from the wall and look at it at a holistic viewpoint from, from, from bottom up and top down. Even if you have one year, two year, five year, ten year, twenty years experience, you can still get so much value from IDC data center trainings. Uh, look at the names of the companies these people work for. Look at the years of the experience that we all have. They have a wide breadth of uh, knowledge and experience. They work with government. They work for the biggest end users in the world with billion dollar budgets. Uh, the IDCA works with private companies from small up to fortune 1000 companies. I have a, a very demanding job. Um, I have uh, many new standards that I need to follow. You know, I felt IDCA offered a program that was better than in any other that I've, I've researched. The knowledge that have been transferred to me, I, I, I feel like I'm back in college. So you're learning, you're always learning something in, in the IDCA trainings. You know you're getting somebody in front of you who knows what they're talking about, who thinks about this, who spends time trying to enhance and advance the industry. I see you guys what you're doing. You're taking, you know, engineering, what we do, the various ones, and then you took facilities and you merged them together with your model. It's like a Venn diagram and to show us what we have in common and fulfill because usually if you design something you just move on so you'll get it but then when you say hey no no have you ever really sat down and understand what they're trying to talk about the mechanical electrical why you create in hot spots or have you ever doing really no you, you don't you only think about your piece this makes me appreciate the facility guys even more and the ops guys so IDC is here to educate to standardize to certify um, individuals organizations as well as data centers it's real information that you can take back to your data center and make a real impact the very next day. When you take that VIN and you go engineering, you go facilities and operations, you're in the middle. You're the application echo system and you're the one telling us, look at our seven layers all the way down. And if you can get them all together, then you could say, oh, this is what they're trying to say. IDCA teaches you from the foundation up teaches you about engineering, about operations, about maintenance, as well as teaches you the biggest and latest trends of the industry. So you can actually go back and benchmark your data center 
to the highest standard out there. For years, IT facilities and operations have been silos, and everyone knows that. Everyone who's in the industry, and that's why we never hardly get anything done. Uh, so educating our staff on how cooling operates, how the systems operate, how power is, is achieved into the data center, how it's distributed, all of that is, is the requirement to educate staff and have ensure the knowledge is, resonates with them is extremely critical. You know, your data center infrastructure class I took was great, but your data center operation management class began to make me really look at all the various technology lanes that are not mentioned that it's so much and get implied, you know, just like you plug something in the wall, you don't care about the 110 volts or the wiring, whether it's Romex or copper, you don't care. All you care about, you plug it in. But you guys make it so that you, you have to look and think. There's always something more that you can learn, and I think that that's what IDCA can provide through their education and their certifications. And it's also a, a great opportunity for networking. I've, in the IDC trainings I've been involved in, the networking has been almost as valuable as the training itself. No one in this industry is attacking these problems in this way. We're really creating some tools and some opportunities for the industry to really make improvements across the board. We want to leave a legacy behind that says, you know, here's historical knowledge, here's where we came from, here's where we are today, here's a direction we want to go tomorrow, and we need you to look at this and move this forward too.